My name is Jo, uh, welcome to London. Um, I'm part of Mouflon Productions with my cousin Andy and together we are uh, doing a few short videos to help explain some things to American visitors or British visitors about things that are quite common in the States or here in England. Um, we've done a few videos so far, football, English breakfast, American breakfast, that kind of thing. Um, today is another uh, British institution and that is tea. Um, English love the tea. Um, I think you probably get two types of tea drinkers and um, you get the very kind of uh, the Queen style tea drinker, china cups, teapots and uh, all quite vintage and kitsch which is fantastic and you get the addicts like myself who just need a big mug to get started in the morning and um, can't cope without at least three or four cups of tea in the day. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to go through some etiquette, tea etiquette, and how to make a cup of tea, which I'm sure you know, but people get very, very angry and have very particular ideas about how to make a cup of tea. And um, we're talking bog standard tea, English tea, breakfast tea, rather than the, the wonderful stuff, other stuff that you can get out there. Um, so, first steps first. You need kettle, electric kettle, rather than the one you get on the whole you do in the States. Everyone here has an electric kettle. Um, rule number one is that you use cold water in your kettle and you boil it only once. Um, once you've watched the kettle boil, because quite frankly, what else are you going to do? Um, <clears throat> you don't pour the water immediately into your teapot or teacup. Apparently, there's quite a debate about how long you should wait for your water to go off the boil. Uh, 60 seconds, 180 seconds. Um, so you have your china teacup, you have your mug, you have your tea bag, which I'm going to get out of my little tea container. This one's actually got vanilla in it, a little off the beaten track. Uh, I have a friend who sends me packets of these all the way from Mauritius because she knows I like them. So um, one tea bag in the teacup. Now if you're fussy, you're going to use some of that hot water from the kettle to warm your teacup. If you're not, you just put the tea bag in. We've let our water settle for a few seconds, a minute. The other deb big uh, debate on the etiquette of tea is whether the milk goes in first, before the hot water, or afterwards. Okay, so this is where you come down to what kind of person you are. I sometimes put the milk in the cup first. But if you're making a proper English cup of tea, then you're meant to put in tea bag, hot water. You're not meant to squeeze the tea bag, stir the tea bag, touch the tea bag. You leave that tea bag alone. Got it? And you leave it there for one, two minutes, depending on how, long you, how strong you like your tea. You may have a nice teapot, if you're making tea for more than one person or more than one cup of tea, in which case you warm your teapot first with hot water, then you put your tea bags in. You don't put your milk in your teapot, obviously. <clears throat> hot water in, and then if you're lucky enough, you might have a tea cosy to put over your teapot to leave it to stew for a couple of minutes. Right, so I've left that for as long as I wanted because I don't like my tea extra strong. I like it medium. And then I'm going to put some milk in. Now, I don't want any of your funny business. There's no almond milk, coconut milk, skimmed milk. You want 1% semi-skimmed milk with your cup of tea. Okay? Right, I'm going to go to the fridge. Bear with me one second. Splash 
splash of milk in your tea. The other etiquette thing is, if you have sugar with your tea, don't use the same tea teaspoon that you've stirred your cup of tea with to get the sugar. People get cross. Okay, there's a separate teaspoon for the sugar and a separate teaspoon to stir it in the mug. I'm at home. I don't care. <laughs> so if you come round to my house, you can have your tea any way you want it. Okay, I'm going to be polite and not mind. So, sugar. Now, I've just made the most dreadful cup of tea I want to show you. <laughs> Come here. Look down. Can you see? That is pale and terrible. There you go. Sorry. <clears throat> And I'm not actually going to drink that because that looks awful. That's why you need to squeeze the tea back in the teacup. Don't get what people are on about sometimes, really. But I will tell you this, that if you make a cup of tea, that's <laughs> an English person, and expect them to drink it, <laughs> you'll never be their friend. Or, I'll tell you what, because... Um, the English can be exceptionally passive aggressive. So if you don't like somebody, give them a tea cup, give them a cup of tea like this and uh, just wash them and drink it out of politeness. Other people will reverse the tables on you and uh, they will take a sip and say, oh, it's lovely, and then ask you for a cup of tea over and over again. So there you go, how not to make a cup of tea. I hope you've learned something, I'm so happy. Now I drink about five or six cups of tea every day, I think I can make a cup of tea. See what? Um hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to make myself a proper cup of tea with no one looking. Hopefully see you next time. Bye.